I'm like, well, how is she making all this money? Oh, because she owns it and because of syndication? Did Tyler Perry just expose the real Oprah behind the scenes? I'm diving deep into the shocking twists between these two media titans. You won't believe what Tyler's been saying. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. Buckle up, dear viewers, for the swirling storm of controversy surrounding a figure you thought you knew, Oprah Winfrey. This influential powerhouse, celebrated as a talk show host, TV producer, actress, author, and philanthropist, is at the heart of it all. Famous for her daytime TV dominion, The Oprah Winfrey Show, Oprah's legacy isn't as squeaky clean as her shiny on-screen persona suggests. <laughs> so, but what, what I realized is through the whole process, because I'm grounded, in my own self. Now, let's crank up the heat a bit. Remember the Olsen twins from our beloved 90s sitcom, Full House? Mary-Kate and Ashley's appearance on Oprah's show took a controversial twist, thanks to Oprah's tactless probe into their weight. There's a new rumor that's recently surfaced. has really upset you, right? Uh, you know, the one about eating. The incident sparked a wildfire of public condemnation. Critics pounced on Oprah's lack of compassion and invasive questioning, calling her out for her insensitivity towards the Olsen twins' well-known weight struggles. Oprah's questionable behavior doesn't end there. She once shed light on the unsettling reality of child victims' experience with predators, admitting that a big part of the confusion and shame for underage's victims is that the attention and the seduction from the predator, who is probably gonna be somebody, you know. This disturbing insight into a young victim's experience stirred up some unsettling waves. In another twist, Winfrey has been linked to the notorious criminal John of God, who is currently serving a 19-year prison sentence. A man who claims to work miracles and heal the sick. He calls himself John of God, but there's nothing godly about him. To add to the web of crimes, John of God faces additional charges related to multiple sex offenses. Oprah's relationship with this convicted felon raises more questions than it answers. Enter Tyler Perry, a kingpin in the entertainment industry ready to rip the curtains wide open on the hidden saga. Recently, Perry has started to spill the beans on the backstage shenanigans of Winfrey's talk show. What shadowy secrets has this media magnate been hiding? Hold your breath as I prepare to dive deeper into Oprah's dubious double life that has stayed off the public radar until now. Now, viewers, if you thought the storm had passed, I'm afraid we're just getting into the eye of it. Continuing on the rough path of Oprah's alliances, we land upon her friendship with none other than the infamous Harvey Weinstein, the film producer known more for his plethora of harassment allegations than his cinematic contributions. Despite the dark clouds that perpetually hovered over Weinstein's reputation, Oprah stood by his side, sparking whispers that she might have even nudged aspiring actresses in his direction. Such unsettling implications have led critics to question her role in his alleged wrongdoings, a damning indictment that casts a long shadow over her image as a beacon of female empowerment and an advocate for the Me Too movement. Some contend that her association with Weinstein smacks of hypocrisy, pointing to a conspicuous double standard in her dealings with those accused of misconduct. But let's go back a little bit. In one of her most head-scratching moves, she decided to give a platform to the self-styled healer and notorious criminal, John of God. Imagine this, folks, a Brazilian faith healer professing to have mystical powers that he supposedly used to heal people. It sounds like a plotline straight out of Hollywood film, doesn't it? Well, truth can indeed be stranger than fiction. Every time I've heard about him or talked about mm -hmm. him or even written about him in the magazine, it has been through somebody else's right. eyes. John of God, as he ambitiously named himself, ran a so-called healing facility in Brazil. Vulnerable individuals searching for spiritual comfort and direction flocked to his center, oblivious to the malignant reality that lay beneath his facade of saintliness. It wasn't long before John of God's true colors began to bleed through. <laughs> Tales of harassment and abuse began to surface, sketching a terrifying image of a man who unashamedly exploited those who sought his aid. One particularly horrifying instance rattled the public to the core. A woman who had visited John of God's healing center found herself violated in the worst way possible during a private consultation. It's enough to make the hair on your neck stand up, but the real shocker here is the part Oprah played in rocketing John of God to fame. By featuring him on her show, she gave him a veritable seal of approval, introducing him to a broader audience and unwittingly legitimizing his appalling deeds. You describe yourself as a spiritual medium. What does that mean, a medium? It's near unbelievable that someone with Oprah's influence and stature could overlook the twisted machinations of this imposter. Was it a case of ignorance or was it a deliberate maneuver? Only those behind the scenes of Oprah's empire can tell for certain. The incident that raised countless eyebrows unfurled back in 2010 during one of Oprah's spotlight 
stealing segments aptly named Do You Believe in Miracles? Her viewers were unaware that the miracle they were about to witness was the ascendance of a criminal masked as a spiritual guru. This incident bears testimony to Oprah's unrivaled power to mesmerize and influence her audience, a power she wielded to give John of God a stage despite the heinous allegations that would later surface. Oprah did try to salvage what remained of her reputation by showing empathy for the brave women who spoke out against John of God, but the scar left by her involvement was too deep to be erased. The harm was done, and the ominous link between Oprah and this rogue healer would forever be ingrained in the annals of scandalous history. The lingering impact of this association continues to raise critical questions about Oprah's discernment and the potency of her sway. The sordid saga serves as a stark reminder that not all that glitters is gold, especially when it comes to the glitz and glam of celebrity life. So viewers, keep those eyes peeled and those ears open as I continue to explore the murkier corners of the celeb world. Meanwhile, as the dust swirls around the Oprah scandal, it seems that Tyler Perry is cautiously sidestepping away from his old accomplice. The rumor mill is spinning full speed with whispers suggesting that Tyler Perry might have been tutored or even shaped by Oprah, shedding some light on the controversies and hullabaloo marring his career. As Tyler tries to shake off any connection to the allegations encircling Oprah, it can't be overlooked that he's been in his fair share of hot water. Industry gossip hints at a slew of accusations, from coercing actors into playing gay characters against their wishes to alleged subpar working conditions on his sets. These scandalous whispers have led many to question Perry's ethical compass and his regard for the actors and crew involved in his ventures. One scandal that certainly raised the roof was the Monique affair. The acclaimed actress took center stage and publicly lambasted both Tyler Perry and Oprah for lowballing her during contract negotiations for a movie. I would say Oprah Winfrey. You know what you need to do. The dramatic fallout played out during Monique's comedy gig at the legendary Apollo Theater in Harlem, where she pointed an accusing finger at Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, and Oprah Winfrey, blaming them for blacklisting her from Hollywood and ruining her prospects of further work after her stellar performance in the 2009 film Precious. And stop hiding behind what you call was negative comments, what you call, oh, I don't even deal with things like that because what people are beginning to do is see you for who you are. Monique claimed that Perry and Oprah fueled the idea that she was tough to work with, causing serious harm to her professional image. In a rebuttal to Monique's damning allegations, Tyler Perry took the hot seat in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter discussing the issue of racism in Hollywood. He did throw some support behind Oprah during the conversation, but it was clear he was threading lightly. Did that ever happen? Did he ever come to your defense? No, we've never heard Tyler Perry say, Monique did nothing wrong. Interestingly enough, Tyler Perry once admitted that Oprah had schooled him on handling his finances, advising him to keep a hawkeye on his cash. This nugget of information suggests a tight bond between the two, hinting that Tyler was open to taking cues from Oprah. But with the latest tumultuous turn of events for the talk show queen, it appears Tyler is working hard to put some distance between them. Taking things a notch further, insiders have noticed a distinct change in Tyler Perry's behavior when it comes to Oprah. Gone are the days when the dynamic duo would sit side by side, laughing and sharing stories in joint interviews. This is Tyler Perry. Listen to this. Tyler was homeless and living in his car. In recent months, their once unbreakable bond appears to have cooled significantly. The spotlight has captured Tyler on numerous occasions, subtly throwing shade at Oprah with slight jabs and critiques that seem uncharacteristic of their past camaraderie. It's a dramatic pivot from the days when he'd have nothing but praise for the media mogul. In a turn of events that shocked even the most seasoned gossip enthusiasts, Tyler has started to openly critique some of Oprah's decisions. During a recent podcast, when asked about Oprah's ventures, Tyler remarked, I think everyone, no matter how influential, can make misguided choices. It's all about the company you keep and the decisions you stand by. While he didn't directly name Oprah, the insinuation was as clear as day to those who followed their intertwined careers. The grapevine is ripe with chatter, and an insider recently spilled some piping hot tea. The source whispered, Tyler's furious. He feels like he's been dragged through the mud because of Oprah's missteps. He believes his association with her has done more harm than good lately. This sentiment seems to be the tip of the iceberg, suggesting that the rift between Tyler and Oprah is more profound than just a few missed joint interviews. Only time will tell if this Hollywood friendship can weather the storm or if it's truly the end of an era. Well, there you have it, folks. The Hollywood landscape is ever-changing, and it seems like even the strongest friendships aren't immune. Tyler Perry, once a staunch Oprah ally, now appears to be distancing himself, dropping hints and subtle jabs about the media mogul's true nature. But what do you think? Is Tyler's criticism of Oprah warranted? Or is this just a case of a friendship gone sour in the limelight? And more importantly, how will this impact both their careers in the long run? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get the conversation going.
Thank you all for tuning in and joining me on this wild ride through the fascinating world of celebrity rumors. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest updates. Until next time, stay curious, stay entertained, and keep those comments coming. Peace out.